think we can get started now. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, it's Skelet Cool. Today what I thought would be fun is to start a new series format which I decided to call Palette Infinity. Uh, not really inspired name but I thought it'd be interesting to look at new palettes I get or all palettes I own and kind of like create an infinity number of looks and see how far we can get with them. This format is inspired by my desire to kind of really use up more of my palettes. I've got loads of palettes I own that I kind of purchased somewhat recently but because I've already said but I have been really feeling shit in the past four months which means I had like <laughs> loads of palettes I've barely touched I received a bit before that and just also my desire to kind of explore more of my palettes and my palette collection and really see what I can create rather than like keep buying new ones. I've always wanted my channel to be more centered around like creating link looks and really see what we can make with palettes rather than like being super like new release focused and I think even more so nowadays, I think that's what people want more of. I think we kind of almost straying away a little bit from like the hyper consumerism and kind of like more, you know, you see more of that, these project pan and all of this amazing stuff that's happening. So uh, I want my channel to be very creative and not worried about whether this panel was released yesterday or like five years ago. So hopefully I can make some fun stuff out of that. I was a bit worried that was kind of the, <laughs> Not the only person kind of like wanting to do that, but it's just like, I feel like the beauty channels on YouTube have accustomed us to really that race of- oh. Race? <laughs> like getting the first video out about a specific new release. And I'm not really about that, I think. I don't know if I've seen Madeley do her palette potential series, which I think is amazing. Cause it's just like really trying to explore and try every single shade in like a palette and see how far we can go with it. I think it's, it's a really amazing idea. Anyway, so it's slightly inspired by that, but mainly like my own desire of like how I want to go with my channel. As you've probably seen in the title, today's palette is the Arcana palette by Shroud Cosmetics, which is a really stunning, deep, grungy, jewel tone palette. Uh, I think it's a really beautiful uh, color story. So it's kind of what I sometimes call it's <laughs> like rainbow-ish palette, but I feel like it's more of like the kind of rainbow-ish palette that I like. What I mean by that is sometimes the trend to do like a colorful palette is like just to throw like one of each color. So you got like a red, you got a green, you got a blue, you got a yellow, you got a orange, and it's kind of like, it's not really something that speaks to me. But in this case, it's much more because the tones are be adjusted, they're all very muted and grungy and deep. And obviously we've got these deep dual tone. I think like it works very well. Sorry. <laughs> I don't need to pull just to the camera. I'm gonna edit that out. So I don't know why I'm doing this exactly. <laughs> Before we get started, if this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Armand. I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare, and tea. I love a good, cup of tea. This is all grey with some milk. So um, if you are into any of these topics, hobbies, then consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Um, maybe you could have a beverage. You could sit, enjoy a bit of makeup, just have some fun together. And yeah, let's get started. All right, um, if we have a closer look, this is what the palette looks like. Um, I have barely touched this, uh, which is why I think it's perfectly suited for this series, so I can kind of like play around with it. I've just kind of tried creating like a little blue, matte, teal moment with these two colors, and I think I kind of dig into Mystic, which is, that's, I think, about it. Um, Beautiful color story, very grungy. Also, we've got a little mirror, sticker moven, which we can take off together. Ready? Mostly oh. that kind of cured my depression, I think. I always start with my eyes first. I, I always start with my eyes first. Um, and usually I film like the entire routine because I like showing as many tips as I can. 
I thought I might skip foundation today just because I'm trying to like make videos a bit like <coughs> so they're a bit more easy for me to kind of work on edit so I don't feel like <sighs> overwhelmed and end up not posting anything for six months. Sorry, I think that hit a bit too much home. <laughs> cool, let me just prime my eyes real quick. I'm gonna use the uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I think I had to like last time, which is like, um, do one eye with you and then one eye on my own. Uh, and foundation and stuff. I feel like it might be... Actually, I didn't mind doing it last time, so I think it might work. I'm just gonna prime my face while this kind of like so. I'm gonna use the Puff Puff Primer from e.l.f. Trying to finish this bad boy. I like priming my face uh, before I do my makeup because then it can kind of settle in. I can clean up any fallout and like blending like here, I can kind of like cut it using a bit of primer and a con and I think Today, what I like to do, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I kind of want to play into Entity, which is like a yellow, muted yellow, going into Relic and maybe I have a bit of Nocturnal. I think it would be a nice kind of like uh, greyish moment and having like Nocturnal as like a kind of contrast between these two colors. I think it could look fun. Uh, Shape-wise, yeah, I think I might just do like a little halo eye situation and just have that in the middle. I don't know. I think that could be fun. Um, I'm gonna grab Entity into like um, a very fluffy brush, a very fluffy brush, because I just want I don't want the yellow to be too present, but I like to be there as like a contrast to like the purpley mauvey. Uh, shimmer. This is from Delium Tools. This is the 776 blending brush. Throw that into the crease. Ooh, okay. I forget how pigmented the shadow are when you first place them. So it's like, oh! But then they blend. So it's like fine. I'm gonna pack it a bit onto my lid on like the inner and outer corner. Just to kind of like get a bit of blend going when I go into that deep shade. I might go into this precise fluffy brush. This is from Sigma. 833 detail diffuse crease. And I'm gonna go into Rolic, which is like a brown. It's like a, it's a brown with like a gray undertone. So it's quite kind of cool tone and grayy. And we're gonna deepen that crease. Now building up this color into the outer corner and inner corner to create a halo shape. These are beautiful shades together. So I'm gonna pair them. I might go back with my fluffy bigger brush and I'm gonna go back into Entity, that yellow. Just kind of remind her she belongs and kind of go over the edges. Just reinforce that color a bit. Awesome, that's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna pick up some glitter primer from NYX. I did try the shimmer formula and I tend to use glitter primer almost all the time at this point because I just really like the effect. But I feel like these sh shade because they're very, the, the, the color is very deep, but I think the payoff can be a bit, not like luster, but like it needs a bit of help. So I'm gonna use some glitter primer for this. Actually, do I want a smaller brush? I might use a smaller brush. I'm using the 773 from Darium Tools, the shading blender. I'm gonna apply this on the lid, and then kind of do a slightly cut creasy shape above my natural crease. So, then close my eyes, do this back and forth, carve out a little shape. Now digging into Nocturnal, which is that mauve um, shimmer. Directly with the same brush, with a sticky side. Whew, that's beautiful. I love that shade. I'm kind of doing that halo eye, but like, like a fan shape. 
Wie? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is go into the fluffy brush with Prolic and try and pack up on the outside to kind of blend these corners. Going back into my um, brush with the shimmer on it, no additional product, and kind of go back, try and mush these shade together and get a better blend. I love this. <laughs> I love this so freaking much. Actually, these blend very well. Like, I find the brown and the purple really blend as well, so... Actually, not really... Ends up not really being that a lot-esque. But that's okay. Because I think it's it's more like a smoky eye with a shimmer on the lid. I think this is beautiful. I love this. Um, I don't know if I want... It's, it's very simple, but I don't know if I want to add anything else. What I might do, I don't know if they would work together, but I think because they have a similar tone, it might work. I like to pick up Familiar and try and kind of brighten the, the center just to kind of create a bit more dimension. So I'm gonna pick up the other side of my brush, just take a bit of Familiar, not much, and just hit the center with it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's great, <laughs> thank you very much. Exactly, yes. There you go, so it kind of creates a bit more dimension, there's a bit more shine at the center, it feels more like, yeah, dimension. This is very simple, but I think I'm gonna leave it at that, because I think it's stunning. I love this. Um, cool, I'm gonna repeat that on the other eye, throw a bit of base makeup, and we can reconvene together and do the thing. All right, here we are. Um, I look a bit ghostly on the viewfinder. I don't know how to fix that. And also, I'm not sure how I feel about my face makeup. But that's okay. We're gonna trust the process. Anyway, um, cool. Let's finish up the eyes. I don't know if we should just mimic what we have at the top part or like do something a bit different. I'm wondering about playing a bit with Alta to kind of create a like grungy, sick eye, under eye situation. But let's grab Entity and just smoke that under the eye. Make sure to connect into that outer V. Oh my god, I went so far down. Actually, you know what? I think I just want to go very simple because I'm just really digging this look at I think I'm just gonna go into relic again that brown grayish with that brush and just smoke it under the eye and I think I'm gonna call it a day because I'm just really liking these tones I don't want to change anything to be honest just carving my under eye like this I'm gonna smoke out a bit like the outer V of it, just so it, it kind of like merges all together a bit better, just like this. I'm just gonna kind of like diffuse the edges with no real any additional product just going around. I love this. I think it looks really cool. Outside of the face makeup, that looks like shit. But let's do some blushes. I don't own any uh, mauve uh, blushes. Uh, but I do have this blush palette from um, Juvia's Place, the Saharian Palette Volume 2. And it does have that like violet, purple, mauve color. I just hope it won't be too deep. I think it would really look good with this uh, look. So I kind of want to do that. I could always mix it with that kind of pink, kind of make it a bit brighter if I need to. But yeah, I'm kind of, I want to try that. So I'm gonna pick this up with this slanted blusher brush 962 from Delium Tools. I'm gonna pick up B, the purple, just one dip and see how it goes. Oh, I think I could pick more up actually. Doesn't look as mauve and deep on the cheeks, but that's quite pretty. Go like that. I don't know how I feel with that brown doesn't look very cute but I'm just gonna roll with that um oh i'm gonna do some freckles because i'm kind of feeling that vibe today i'm gonna go over with some blush i like doing like freckles first then feel like i can blend them better 
picking up more B, that purple uh, blush. I'm just gonna focus that on like the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna grab my Alva 2 highlighter palette from. Oh my god, why is this so white? Why? I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna grab my Alva 2 highlighter palette from Order's Eye and I'm gonna grab this color called Sylph, which is like a lavender-ish purpley highlighter. I thought it would kind of complement the look nicely. I'm gonna grab one of my eye brushes with the shimmers on it. I'm gonna grab the highlighter and kind of go on top of the center. Gonna create even more dimension. I'm gonna tie everything together. So just hitting kind of the center of the lid. I'm kind of going up. I think I'm just gonna go even up to the brow because I think that could be cute. And of course, I'm gonna hit the inner corner as well with that shade. Oh my God, this highlighter is so sparkly. It has like proper speckles. If you're not into that, be worn. I think we're ready for a little spray down. Again, this is like a Urban Decay Hall Nighter, but actually this is ABH uh, Dewy Set. That's just, I don't like the spray on that. Hello back. I really struggle with these lashes. I'm, I'm not very good with lashes in general. I don't think they look good on me and I'm not very good at putting them, out, putting them on and it's been a while since I put on some lashes, but they are on. Hopefully they're not going anywhere. I hope so. I think, I think from a distance they look decent, so we'll just work with that. Uh, by the way, these are um, Juliet by A House of Lashes. Overall, I think this is a very cute look. Let's throw on a lip and then we'll just conclude, you know. So I'm gonna light my lip with Ashton by Colourpop. I'm not supporting them, but it's like, this is my greige lip liner. So that's what I'm using today. We're gonna do a classic greige um, lip. So this is, Sanctuary by KVD Beauty. But yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoy kind of doing a bit more of a classic eye makeup tutorial. I think this was lots of fun, but besides the struggle with the face makeup, it's just things happen. Uh, but you know, I trust the process. I think I look still amazing from a distance only. The eye makeup I'm loving. You know, it's funny, usually when I struggle with my makeup, I do struggles also with my eyes, because usually it's, you know, you know, that kind of day where everything is just going to crap. And today, the eyes were like super easy breezy. It was just like five minutes and done. I'm kind of mind blown, because usually I'm, I spend a lot of time on, on my eyes, but today I don't feel like I did and I threw on like a few colors it's just turned out stunning I really love that look these mats just blended so easily and they just like build up beautifully but you never really struggle to blend them I look forward to trying more of that palette because this is absolutely stunning I was not sure at the beginning if things were go well together but again love that look let me know if you try recreating this look if you do and like post on instagram please do tag me because i would love to see it uh, i don't think anyone's gonna recreate this look but <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this look in the comments what you think about the palette uh if there's any specific shade you'd like to see next if you want to support my channel you can give this video a like you can leave a comment any engagement helps me uh, get visibility in the youtube algorithm so it's always very appreciated if you don't know what a comment to leave you can just leave the score emoji and i really appreciate your support thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you very very soon take care of yourself bye bye